definition of sexual intercourse varies due to different types or different forms of sexual intercourse that we have. So the traditional definition is simply the, I mean, penetration of a woman's vagina by a man's penis. So the human and animal intercourse is known as zoophilia or bestiality. It could be a man having sex with a female animal or a lady having sex with a male animal. It is not a new phenomenon at all. It is something that has been in existence, even recorded during the prehistoric era. Many countries around the world banned what is known as bestiality, but it is legal in some countries such as in Argentina, it is legal. In Colombia, it is also legal in Colombia as well. In Cambodia, bestiality, it is considered, I mean, legal in Cambodia. In Mexico, it is legal. In Japan, it is also legal. It is legal in Thailand. It is as well legal in Russia. Bestiality is also legal in Finland, that is in Europe. It is also legal in Hungary. Bestiality or zoophilia is also legal in Romania. And the last but not the least from on the list that I have, it is also legal in Turkey. So these are the countries that, I mean, I accept bestiality. Meanwhile, it is generally not accepted in Africa and in many countries that practice monarchy. What are the health implications of having sex with an animal? Is it right at all? How do we define a situation whereby a male dog that cannot express himself is being imposed have to have human sexual intercourse? Isn't this a crime against such animal? Anyways, I know individual has the right to decide to do whatever he or she wants to do with his or her own body. But how will this animal derive the pleasure? I mean, is it going to derive pleasure having sex with human or having sex with a bitch? So she did this. I mean, the lady in question did it for 1.5 million era, an equivalent of 3,621 American US dollars. Now, before I proceed to tell you the possible medical complications that may likely arise, I want you to listen to what she said in the short video she released. Even if any complication arises at the end of the day, will this morning take care of these medical problems at all? What's the big deal there? I only slept with a dog. I did not kill somebody. You, in your life, you've done worse. And besides, have you seen 1.5 million naira before? Just like, as if it's a big deal. Huh? I only slept with a dog. I did not kill somebody. And mind you, I'm not infected nor anything. Do you get so? Stop dying on the matter. I'm enjoying the money. So let me start with what is known as zoonotic disease, that is also known as um, zoonosis. Uh, this is animal disease that can be transmitted to humans. There are over 200 I mean, zoonoses that are caused by bacteria, parasites, fungi, and viruses. And these diseases can be transmitted to humans. I will start with leptospirosis. This is a bacterial disease that is I mean, a present in an infected urine of an animal. If in case you come in contact with it, it may cause what is, I mean, meningitis. And this, the rates, I mean, of the death rate of this disease is, is 10%. So it's a very serious issue. So the second one is a echinococcus. So echinococcus is a parasitic worm found in the feces of dogs, cats, and sheep. So this parasite causes cysts in lungs, heart, spleen, and brain, liver, and kidney. It is also very deadly. So the other one is rabies. 
so rabies is not all about biting alone but uh, sometimes even the biting might not be harmful biting it can be ordinary biting like playing with you so if it happens so if it's it is found in saliva of the cat hot dogs if it comes in contact it can cause a nervous i mean system damage so the last one is also the something that is more peculiar to men that is penile cancer so it can i mean uh, it occurs in men engaging in sexual intercourse with female animals so it is it is a, it is a very serious issue to so men that are involved in this kind of act are susceptible to penile cancer professor sangita singh she is a professor of psychology so she wrote an article about this topic i'm talking about and it's titled head risk of zoophilia or bestiality so it was published in the journal of biological and medical sciences now i'm taking a quote from a article and the quote read thus According to the World Health Organization, although the zoonoses represent significant public health risks, they are not prioritized by World Health System. Health is wealth. Now, if this lady said that the dog, I mean, is free of disease, how can she confirm that? I hope she saw the medical report of the dogs and how can she confirm what the owner of the dog told her so uh, I, though she has the right to do anything with her body so but her health too should be very important to her as well and we our prevention is better than cure so this video is actually intended to serve as public enlightenment <music>